I want to start tonight with an image that I can't get out of my head. It's this pair of green Converse sneakers, a hand-drawn heart on the right toe. They belonged to Maite Rodriguez, a nine-year-old girl who was gunned down in the Uvalde school massacre. And 18 other children and two teachers were killed alongside her. Well, last night, the actor Matthew McConaughey, who was born in Uvalde, spoke at the White House and gave a speech that I believe will be a seminal moment in America's gun violence debate. He asked his wife, Camilla, to bring those shoes to the briefing room. Camilla's got these shoes. Can you show these shoes, please? Wore these every day. Green Converse with a heart on the right toe. These are the same green Converse on her feet that turned out to be the only clear evidence that could identify her after the shooting. How about that? I have a 10-year-old daughter. She wears sneakers. She loves to draw. I can't even begin to comprehend the scale of a horror like this. Nobody should. It's not normal. It's not OK. And it's clear that McConaughey can't comprehend it either. He was visibly stung as he described meeting a cosmetologist who worked with the bodies of the tiny victims. This is difficult, but we have to watch it. That's the task of making the victims appear as peaceful and natural as possible for their open casket viewings. These bodies were very different. They needed much more than makeup to be presentable. They needed extensive restoration. Why? Due to the exceptionally large exit wounds of an AR-15 rifle. Most of the body so mutilated that only DNA test or green converse could identify them. Many children were left not only dead but hollow. It's gut wrenching, isn't it? And once you have that appalling imagery in your head, there's no escaping it, and nor should there be. I don't think there's been a more powerful or harrowing speech at the White House briefing room, maybe ever. And it was about so much more than just raw emotion. McConaughey wasn't there to take sides or to lecture responsible gun owners to disarm or to preach from a lofty Hollywood platform about the ignorance of one side or the other. He didn't take sides. He even spoke about Ovalde being the place where he'd learned to be a responsible gun owner himself. Now, this was an appeal to all Americans, whatever their views about guns. You know what every one of these parents wanted, what they asked us for? They want to make their loss of life matter. Look, we heard, from, we heard from so many people, right? Families of the deceased, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, Texas Rangers, hunters, Border Patrol, and responsible gun owners who won't give up their Second Amendment right to bear arms. And you know what they all said? We want secure and safe schools, and we want gun laws that won't make it so easy for the bad guys to get these damn guns. I mean, who wouldn't want that? It's just common sense. What Matthew McConaughey has done is changed the tone of the gun debate, from toxic, charged, partisan mudslinging to a more respectful rhetoric intended to unify Americans, to bring about change that could potentially save countless innocent lives. But why has it taken an actor to do this? Well, he wasn't really speaking as an actor, nor as a politician. He was speaking as a father, as a man from Uvalde, a town whose grief has become the world's pain. And to me, his speech felt like a turning point. At least I hope it is. You've got a chance right now to reach for and to grasp a higher ground above our political affiliations. We start by making the loss of these lives matter. They have to. Otherwise... Where are we? If you can't make lives matter when 19 children are gunned down at school, well, when can you? And if not now, then when?